Welcome back Go City Elimination fans, to the Aftermath, where we give the eliminated contestants the love and attention they deserve. This iteration of the Aftermath will be hosted by yours truly, Clementine, Clementine and, Sarah. and Sarah. You may recognize us as competitors on the previous season, Go City Elimination All-Stars. And you may have seen us from our professional bowling games, and our professional golf games, and maybe even our professional hockey games. And absolutely nothing else beyond that. Okay fine, we were also the first ones eliminated from this season. Please stop laughing, it's not funny oh my god. Okay that's it, if you guys don't stop laughing then we're cancelling the aftermath. Yeah that's more like it. Okay let's just get on with the show. Alright. So the season has just started, and already so much has happened. Girl for real, like I was just so shocked by what I was seeing. In case any of you in the audience need a refresher, Clementine and I will do a little recap. Okay so first off, Nicky managed to weasel his way out of an elimination by convincing his teammates to vote someone else off, because of how well he performed in the baseball challenge. And if you thought that was crazy, the very next episode, Nikki, along with Sam, kicked absolute butt in the Giallo challenge, more so Sam, but still. And finally, Hadley, who seems like this season's new big bad, has tricked Chin and Nervin into being in an alliance with him. And they already managed to eliminate one of the most skilled players from the game. Oh gosh, speaking of eliminations, the contestants who were eliminated these past few episodes was the most shocking thing of all. Yeah I know right like oh my god, it was so crazy. Let's reveal them for the audience, because if you couldn't already guess, they will be our guests for tonight. The contestants who were eliminated, are... Brent Rosemary Okay that really isn't too surprising. Like at all. Yeah. But this last elimination was one of the most unexpected twists in the show's history. Dora, was eliminated. Yeah, you heard that right, for the first time ever, Dora was eliminated during the very early pre-merge. Yeah, it was so sad, I really wanted her to win this season. Well, at least we get to interview them now and have a good time hanging out with them. You know that doesn't really make me feel better about it. Negative Nancy. What did you say? Nothing. <laughs> okay anyway, I think it's about time for our guests to exit the green room. Please welcome Brent, Rosemary, and Dora. Hey guys, it's great having you three on the show tonight. Thank you Clementine and Sarah, um, I hope the audience is happy to see me again right? Bro they were literally just cheering for me a second ago. Yeah, the fans are pretty upset with how you behaved in episode 3 and how you treated Nikki. And TBH, we're pretty mad at you as well. We're gonna get to you later, you have some explaining to do. Gold sound effect. Um, um. Well I'm very honored to be on this show girls. 
I've never been on a talk show like this before, but I will try to have some interesting things to talk Bora, about. It's an absolute tragedy that you're on this show tonight. I really just can believe it. How have you been holding up, girl? Well, Sarah, I definitely could be better. I miss Kano very much, and call me crazy for this, but I already miss playing the game. I know how you feel, Dora. I've really been missing my mom ever since Sarah and I got eliminated. Um, you know speaking of that, I just noticed that your mom hasn't acknowledged your existence once since you got eliminated. Um, girls, are you gonna say anything about how you rudely interrupted me while I was talking? Oh um, oops, my bad Rosalina. Excuse me, my name's not Rosalina, it's Rosemary, get your facts straight. Okay, jeez. Sorry, Meredith. Okay, that sounds nothing like my name, young lady. I know you're doing this on purpose at this point because you said my name when you introduced me, so please stop gaslighting. Can you take a chill pill, Maxine? It's really not that serious. Stop it! Stop it! Stop, 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 stop! Oh my god, something popped out of my back. Dang it. I knew this was gonna happen. Let's just get the entrance in here. Far noise, Shining Starco, we need help. What? Rosie took a little tumble and now her back is broken. You think you can help her into the green room so she can rest for a while? Okay, fine. That poor lady. Um, is she gonna be alright? Well, I don't see anything poking out of her back, so she's probably telling a fib. Like she always does. You won't see the last of me. Anyway, let's get back on topic, shall we? Okay, Dora. So what were you feeling okay, when- Okay, wait, Sarah. Can I at least defend myself first? I can easily clear my name. Okay, Brent the Bully. Let's see if the audience wants to hear your side. <laughs> yeah? Looks like Team Nikki has spoken. We'll get to you when we get to you alright, so quit yapping. Uh, oh my god this is ridiculous. Um, okay Sarah, so what was it you wanted to ask me? Oh yeah, I was going to ask you what you were feeling when you got eliminated, and if you thought it was unfair in some way. Well that's the thing Sarah, it was technically fair that I lost, even despite Adam's backward rules, and that's what's been getting at me. I feel like I let my team, Kalo, and the fans, down. I don't know how I could have been so, well, clueless. Um, okay Dora, let me ask you another question. Were you like, not at all suspicious when Shin and Irvin told you to do that Victoria song? Um, suspicious? Well, I don't really know why you think I'd be suspicious of him. Kalo and Chain and Irvine used to be good friends, so I wouldn't think he'd have any militia. Wait, didn't you say at the beginning of this that Hadley formed an alliance with Chain and Irvine? You see, that's why you had to be suspicious, girly. Oh my god, so, so we're the only ones that know Hadley is gonna take out everyone, aren't we? Oh my god, I, I need to tell Kalo and my team somehow. Well, good news for you, Dora. You will possibly have a way to contact someone in the game soon. But, we will have to save that for later. Oh, looks like we got our first video sent in from a fan. Oh yeah, looks like it's a spoof of the Victorious theme song but with the members of the Machete Wilders. Okay wait, you're gonna show some fan video before I even get a chance to defend myself? Wow, talk about priorities. Clap if you care about what he just said. Let's watch the video now. Somebody could hear when you figure out how you're lost in the moment you disappear. You don't have to be afraid to put your dream in action. 
attraction You're never gonna fade, you'll be the main attraction Not fair to say, just remember me When it turns out right Cause you know that if you live in your imagination Tomorrow you'll be everybody's fascination In my victory, just remember me When I make it shine Wow, that was so awesome, I love that. Thank you so much to Birds and Cheese Fan 69 for sending that to us, because that was great. Ha ha ha, wow, well you just made one of my biggest dreams come true Mr. Birds and Cheese Fan, thank you. <laughs> wait, wait hold on a second, Cherry's last name actually is Quintel. Wait yeah what the heck, my last name actually is Marcus too. How could have this guy gotten our last names when that information was never disclosed? Well I guess you can say he's not only just a fan of birds and cheese. <laughs> the cyber police will be at your house in 20 minutes birds and cheese fan 69. Be prepared. So, is it my turn to be interviewed now? Ugh, fine, whatever man. So, as previously discussed, the fans, us included, are very upset with your disgusting attitude and how you treated your team members in episode 3. So Brent, we just want an explanation from you, but just so you know it's gonna be very unlikely that anything you say will you excuse yourself from what you did that day. Whoa whoa whoa, hold on just a second. Okay so first of all, don't you guys think you're blowing this just a little bit out of proportion here? All I really did was just let my overly competitive side get a little out of control. Vina and Miss Martin have said way worse things to the other contestants than what I said in that episode. Oh my god I actually can't believe you just said that as a defense. Brent, the clear difference between you and a person like Miss Martin saying rude things to other people is that everyone knows that Miss Martin is a horrible person. We expected so much better from you Brent. Okay okay. I will admit that I did let my temper get the better of me, and went a little far with the things I said, that's always been a problem I've had when I'm playing sports. But, I just don't see how I caused any harm when I'm still on good terms with everyone that was on my team. Luke is still my best friend, I still have my boy band, and I still have my girlfriend, everything is fine, I don't get why I have to be put on blast like this. A oh Brent. I think you're forgetting about somebody on that team. I think the name Nikki should ring a bell. And just a reminder, Nikki was the one you treated the worst during that challenge and you don't even seem to be sorry about it. You must really hate him, huh? Whoa now hold on there a second. The only time I said anything really mean to Nikki was after he lost us the game. Clearly that was a heat of the moment thing. Everything I said to him was just out of blind rage. None of it I actually meant. Also if you actually watch back the episode, you could see that everyone on the machete wielders was pissed at him for costing us the challenge. Even Dory gave Nikki crap for losing, and she's a good friend of his. Yeah, can't really argue with that. And you know I don't think she should be put in the wrong for that exactly. We're all playing in an intense competition where a million dollars is at stake, so of course there's gonna be times where you're gonna get very heated at your teammates for costing your team an important victory. But despite all that, I still do want to give a sincere apology to Nikki, because saying those things to him was just not right, even if he did cost us the challenge. So did I beat the allegations or what? Wow Brent, I'm actually super surprised how maturely you handled that. I know right, I thought we would have to work super hard to get the audience to like him again. Wait what, so are you saying that this entire drama was fabricated? Well I mean, not entirely. The fans did actually hate you for a bit, but yeah we were kinda playing it up. But the good news about us deceiving you is that we actually got your boy band, the City Pedestrians, to play a song on tonight's show in advance. Come on in boys. 
Oh my god yes, finally, we get to lip sync a Total Drama World Tour song on the show. Do you guys know, I'm so excited right now. Wait, so was my last name actually just revealed on national television? Alright city pedestrians, go sing your song already. Gladly, Cherry, this song is dedicated to you. You might think I know it all And maybe I'm headed for a fall I'm just that brainiac guy Left alone to sit and cry Honey I have some questions for you first Girl Take some time to school me Quench my thirst for knowledge Cause Gosh I just gotta know How'd you get so hot Baby You're so smoking hot Baby My physics know how I ain't got a hope Of explaining why your butt's so dope You bend my space time continuum Then you shake what your mama gave you up I don't even hardly know my name Cause when you walk in the room Nobody looking the same Baby, baby, baby. Oh, gosh. Uh, you think we might need to get some security out here? Uh -huh. All right. I demand a scientific investigation into whether you're even from the human nation. I swear, you're changing my molecular structure. With all your sexy ions, you make my heart rupture. O-M-G, 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 that was so, so, incredible. I know, girly, that was so, 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 so spectacular, I think I could faint. Hi, hi, Sarah, you're so funny, LOL. No, seriously, I think I'm actually about to pass out, my legs feel like jello, I'm super lightheaded and my vision is starting to get blurry. Um. So with that being said, I think now would be a good time to go to commercial. We'll be right back everybody. <laughs> Promise? What who 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 you who will you? Hey Rosemary, are you feeling okay now? Um, um, yeah I guess so. Oh well that's great, because Clementine and Sarah are asking you to come back out for the second half of the show. Are those girls gonna call me by the right name this time? They said no promises. Disrespectful, just absolutely disrespectful. Yo Rosemary that's way too much movement, you're gonna break your back again. Oh hey. Rosemary or whatever her name is is back. Alright, are you girls going to treat me with the respect I deserve and interview me now? <laughs> well um, you see Rosemary, we're kinda past the interviewing segment of the show, we're about to move on to something else right now. Just ask me a single question and I'll answer it, I swear to God. <laughs> Okay, okay, chill the heck out. Okay, so, um, like, what was your, like, favorite part of being the killer in the Giallo movie challenge or whatever? Oh well that's easy, it was being able to walk around the beautiful streets of Rome, I just loved it so much and I hope I can visit again. Alright guys, so now we're moving on to our second half of the show. And we're about to do something we've never done on the aftermath before. We're going to play a game with our guests. And the winner will win an amazing prize. Oh boy, a prize? What is it, what is it? Well let me ask you something first. The three of you actually have something in common. Do you know what it is? Can I pass on that question? <laughs> okay fine I'll just tell you. All three of you are in a relationship with someone that's still in the game. I bet you all want to contact them super bad huh? 
For yeah, sure. I want I to hear Cherry's to voice to again so again. bad. I will literally have a mental breakdown if I don't get to talk to Headley again. Well, guess what? The prize is that you get to have a 10 minute phone call with them. Yippity-doo-dah. Yippity okay, oh, yeah, what a joyous like day. Elsa, the sun is Nevada. shining bright I'll on my life. Elsa. Here comes the sun. Do do do. So, anyway, what is this game that we're playing and how do we win this prize? Well, Rosa. You could say this game is kinda like your chance at redemption. What she's saying is, that you all are gonna be given another chance to win the challenge from the episode you got eliminated in. So Brent, you're gonna prove to the fans how good at baseball you actually are. Rosalinda, you're gonna try your absolute best to pretend murder someone in a stylish way. And Dora, you're gonna be singing another song for us tonight. So, who wants to go first? Me me me. I need to talk to Cherry again right away. Alright then. Come follow us you guys. Alright, as you can see, our lovely producers have meticulously recreated the baseball field on our sound stage. Alright, so you see the pitching machine in front of you? It'll pitch you three balls, and all you have to do is hit one home run, and your phone call will be yours. Wait. So you're saying that if he gets a home run here, he'll just automatically win and we won't even get a chance to do our challenges. You know maybe this wasn't too well thought out. Well don't blame me, you were the one who came up with this. What? No, I didn't come up with this, the producers did. Girl what? That's literally a lie? That was a lie you just told. Actual pathological liar. Yo can I please just play already? Yeah, of course you can. The machine is about to throw its first pitch to you, so get ready. Oh Cherry, I hope you're watching this babe. Strike one Brent, only two more tries and you're out. Um, okay this is fine, it's just one strike, I'll hit this home run no pro- Strike two. Bro what am I doing right now? I can't let Cherry down. She needs that phone call more than I do. Okay it's time for me to lock in. Give me your best shot you stupid machine. Alrighty, looks like Brent lost his challenge. So Rosemary and Dora still have the chance to get that phone call. So, who wants to go next? Oh, I do I do. I just know Hadley is desperate to talk to me again, and I want to make him proud. Dora, do you want to go next? Oh, well sure. So like, all I have to do is sing a good song? Yeah, basically. Alright then. Well, I've got another good Victoria song I can sing. <laughs> Oh no you don't. What? Why not? Don't you remember, that Victoria's song you sang was the entire reason your team lost that challenge. Oh yeah that's right. Well um, what am I supposed to sing then? I don't know, just any song that won't claim this episode I guess. Can songs from Dora the Explorer claim a YouTube video? Wow. She fell off. Hard. Well now what sir? How are we supposed to give someone a reward when Rosemary is the only one left and we know she's gonna suck? Okay, you literally agreed to do this so you actually need to stop blaming me for everything. Okay, seriously, can you girls just let me play already? For your information, I've actually been taking medication for my arthritis, so I'm sure I'm gonna win this time. Ugh. Yeah, whatever you say, Grandma. So, how was that? Yeah, you should just stick to singing Victoria's songs, honey. I agree. Okay, Rosalina, we have applied a fake blood patch to this woman we found walking on the street. Literally all you have to do, is to make that blood patch actually squirt out some blood, and you'll win your stupid phone call. You girls are seriously taking me off. 
Stop being so condescending towards me and start respecting your elders. Man, I could be shoplifting right now instead of wasting my time doing this crap. Okay, I guess we'll just let you two have at it. We'll have Far Noise and Shining Star go on standby in case you break your back again. Well, might as well get this over with so I can get paid. Go on, kill me you stupid grandma. G. Um, you think she's okay? My husband is a DEA agent. Phew, thank God, thought we were about to get sued. Well, Rosemary, I guess you actually won, surprisingly. We'll hand you a cell phone with Hadley's phone number on it after the show. And remember, the phone call will only be 10 minutes long, so make sure to get in everything you need to discuss in that time. Yes, yes. Yeah, 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 yes, yes, yes. Oh my freaking god. Oh my god, something popped out of my back. Well, in my personal opinion, I think that was a very good start for our first aftermath of the season. I totally agree, Queen. We slayed. Thank you for watching this episode of The Aftermath. Make sure to catch the next thrilling episode of Go City Elimination Camp Survivors. This is your host. Clementine. And your co-host, Sarah. Signing, Signing off. off. Hello, Headley. What a surprise, Hud. Oh, Rosemary, is that you? Well, it certainly is a surprise. How are you contacting me right now? Well, this Go City Elimination Aftermath thing I had to be on made us play a game or whatever, and the reward was letting me talk to you on the phone. Anyway, how have you been holding up, sweetie? Has anything crazy happened in the game? Well, I've been getting back at my stupid team members for voting you off, starting with that painfully naive Cyan and Irvine. Oh really? Well how? I got his butt roped into my alliance, and he doesn't suspect anything. He pretty much got Dora eliminated from the game without even knowing. Well, you were always such a smart man. That's why I married you. Hey. Yeah I know babe. Well, tomorrow we're doing another challenge, and it's gonna be a big one for me, cause I'm really, really gonna get back at Cyan and Irvine. I'm gonna get rid of someone he cares for, just like he did to me. So you know that stupid girl with the purple hair? She. Is. Next. <laughs>